Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Caleb and I own the marketing agency Torify. Uh, we're gonna get right into it today, I'm not gonna waste any time here. Uh, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to structure and organize your Facebook business manager. This is literally something I have to do every single time we sign on a new client. You know, accounts are all over the place, things are getting lost, things are getting mismanaged. So this is exactly how I set it up uh, to make sure that everything's in the one spot, you know, your businesses are together, there's not ad accounts all over the place so let me show you so right here uh, where we are we are in the uh, Facebook ads manager this is where we're gonna start from uh, so if you're running ads for the first time or you've been doing it for a while we just want to make sure that everything is in the right place so on the bottom left here this is gonna say business settings if it doesn't if it just says settings then you're in a personal account you're not in a business account so once we go to business settings this will bring us into you know, the business settings. There's a bunch of different business uh, managers that we got access to here. These are some of our clients, but this is just, you know, this is gonna be your business manager. If you don't have one already, then you will need to create one. Uh, so make sure you have a business account. So click on that, and that's where we are now. That's where we're gonna put all of the assets. Your assets, how this works, is you have your, your, your business manager, that's, that's, that's the top one, your business account, and then that owns your page as well as your ad account. So, you know, your page, your ad account, maybe you have 10 pages or 10 ad accounts. All of those are under your business manager. This is gonna make sure that your business is all in the same place. Uh, maybe you have 10 different ad accounts for your business, then they're all 10 in the same spot. So, number one, pages. Um, this is us, this is our business page. If you do not have that here already, if your page is not here, you will need to add it. You can add a page, type in the page, that's us. You would need to click on it. It's already added, so I can't add it again, but you just go down to add page. And it, and it may have you go into the page itself and just accept it. Number two, uh, the ad account. We have three ad accounts for our agency right now, uh, and all the other accounts we manage are you know, owned by our clients. But if there's not, if it doesn't look like this already, and you don't have an ad account, you will need to you know, create one. Uh, we're maxed out on the amount of uh, accounts we can use at the moment, but uh, you can, you know, in, this, in this case, we would request access uh, to an account. But basically, you can either add your account here, or you can create a new one. So next, I wanna move on to people. This is how you manage the people that you give access to in your business and you, you determine which assets they have access to. So let's say, for example, tomorrow uh, you hire on a new, new employee and you want them to have access to your business page and your ad account so they can you know, run some ads and do whatever they need to do. Uh, go up here to the top right-hand corner, type in their email, Let's see if this example works. Go on to next. Uh, in this case, we want them to have basic access. We don't want them to be able to shut down the account and stuff like that. Uh, we'll give them access to the page, new page experience, page right here, and then ad account. Let's say I want them to have access to ad account three, uh, and I'll give them partial access. I would then invite them to this account Let's see, this is not a real email, so okay, I guess it did work. Uh, so now we're gonna go, you can see here, this example has partial access and they have not accepted it yet. Uh, I'm gonna go cancel this, just to make sure nobody else has access to our stuff, but that is how you do it. Now let's say, you know, uh, maybe things don't work out or the employee quits or something like that, you know, you can just go in and uh, remove them from the account. This is by far the best and cleanest way to manage all of your stuff, as well as control who has access to what. That's going to be all for this video, guys. I hope this has helped you out today. You have a great and amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.